You got any feel for those corners, Hugh? We talked about it yesterday. If you're gonna have to make yeah, a I, I don't right t today. You know, it's a little. Wish we get some of these guys back. We'll see. Know a little bit more tomorrow, but um, you know, all these guys are got some nicks, and we just got to work through it. Hey, did you not think all this talk about um, from John Dorsey and um, saying that we have to get a quarterback in here? How do you think all that talk is affecting the Sean Kaiser? I would hope not at all. You know, I think um, when you're on the team and playing quarterback, I don't think you can worry about those things. I, I, just me knowing Deshaun, he, he can only, he would tell you, can only worry about what he can control. And what he can control is playing good against Baltimore and finishing in the season strong. Um, you know, I think right now, none of those things matter. Like I said, John is doing an outstanding job in doing what he needs to do to continue to, as we move further, um, put better talent on our team. You know, and I think uh, he'll look at every, you know, area of our football team and see how we can become better. But at the same time, right now, we're in the midst of the season. I don't think any of that talk bothers any of our players. Deshaun said the other day, he was talking about the last two games where Bosa got him and then Matthews got him in overtime. And we were asking about Suggs and Suggs got him in week two. Um, how do you think Deshaun's done is a kind of pocket awareness? Because it seems like he makes some real good moves sometimes, but then he's given up the forced fumbles. If it's think. inconsistent. I mean, he needs to continue to grow that way. I think uh, as a young player, you forget how good these guys are. They're specialists at, at getting the ball out. You know, the guys you just mentioned, the three guys, they're really good at getting the ball away from the quarterback that way, whether it's a tip ball or it's a, a tackle or hit on the hand or something. Um, that's what these guys get paid to do. And I think he's starting to see up there, they just don't rush the passer. I mean, they're paid to also get the ball and get the ball away from the quarterback. So that's a little different. When you watch Miles Hugh, it, it always seems like he's just like a fraction off <laughs> for making a big play. Is that just, I, I don't know, how do you? That's just part of it. You know, you go through that, that rut a little bit sometimes, and you, you know you're almost there. and just one more step, you know, just a, like you say, a fraction of a second. And I'm sure he feels that. But one thing I know about Miles, he, he, he's going to keep coming, you know, and eventually he's just going to break through where he gets one of these multiple sack games because he's, he's due. Uh, but he's just got to stay after it and uh, keep playing. And that's what type of person he is. And it's hard for him to stay true. The scheme, especially when they're, you know, they're doing those quick hitters and they're basically neutralizing him. Sometimes. I think, you know, as I said last week, earlier in the week, I just think you got to find ways, different ways to, to get there. You know, maybe you start there and you get a feel for it. You jump, you knock a ball down, something. There's all kind of ways of affecting the quarterback that's different than just going back there and rushing the passer when people are throwing the ball that fast. You said so many times you want more out of him, more out of him. Mm -hmm. uh, behind the scenes, uh, how's he handling that? How's he dealing with the, you know, you guys challenging him, you guys pushing him? No, I think he's handled it. He doesn't blink that way. You know, he, uh, and I think he's given more. Um, there's more effort, more tenacity. He's doing it. You know, obviously the numbers are not uh, what we all want and what we all look for, but um, he has done what we've asked him to do. There's no question about that. Hey, with Crow, um, Hugh, have you seen him do anything differently over the last four or five games? His numbers have gone up. He finally had the 100-yard game last week. Have you seen anything different out of him? No, I don't think he's done anything differently. I think, like I said before, I think the offensive line, the consistency, you lose Joe Thomas. You know, we were just coming into it. Things were going. Then you lose Joe. Then you got to find out who you are again a little bit. And then you get in that lull a little bit again. And then you hit a stride again. So I think Crow's done a good job of handling this and managing it. Um, uh, and hopefully we can give the ball to him more and, and let him be who he can be. Good. So, uh, <laughs> I love it, Peter. <laughs> I was going to ask you, with the cornerback situation, do you have to make a move today? Uh, we'll see. I mean, we got till tomorrow. You know, before we need to do something, but we'll do whatever we need to do to make sure that we're um, taken care of that way, supported that way, that we have enough people to go out there and play.